All right, y'all. This is my second attempt of making this video. Um, I don't. My fucking thing ran out of room, man. Fuck. But anyway, I want to talk about something real quick, and I'm gonna talk really fast because I, I kind of have to. Um, I wanted to do like a couple videos, and I really want to do some of them. This is just one that I feel like I have to, so I'm gonna. Um, I'm I'm gonna talk about first. I'm gonna talk about some something. Now, if you're not on Facebook, you're not gonna know what the fuck is going on. But uh, I just want to talk about this person on Facebook, Tyler Rains, okay, aka Courtney. Uh, she's a cool chick or whatever. Uh, I'm close with her. We do you now and stuff like that. She's fucking hot in real life, man. But uh, apparently, like, she she had other pictures because people were fucking harassing her when when she used her personal account. They were they were either saying that she was hot or they were saying that she wasn't she was ugly or whatever. So she made another account just for like threads and stuff. And to do wrestle talk. And um a lot of these fucking out somebody actually moved. I don't even know who there's some fucking job on there. He got a little suspicious, suspicious, suspicion, suspicious Sherlock Holmes, Basil of Baker Street. And so like they try to like expose her or some shit, but they don't know what the fuck they're talking about because she ain't ever claimed to be them them fucking profile pics. I mean, for fuck's sake, she's got a a hailstorm CD. Like, is she is she Lizzie Hale or whatever the fuck her name is? No, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, this person didn't know what to talk about, and she actually yeah, told us like she claimed that it wasn't her. So fuck these assholes. She did it before this person did this. So yeah, don't bother Tyler Rates. Leave Tyler alone because it's either people trying to harass her and being like. Oh, I want to fuck you and shit. Or they're saying, uh, oh, they can't. She won't fuck them. They, they want her net in, but she won't give it to them. So they're like, if I can't have you, no one will. So they're trying to bring her down and talk all this shit about her. Fuck them. Fuck the pervs. She's a teen girl. So fuck the pervs. Fuck the people that try to bring her down and talk shit about her. Haters gonna hate. And fuck this jobber that try to, like, talk shit about her on the status. Knowing that she wasn't gonna see it because she's not on his friends. Fuck that suspicious, irrelevant jobber. And this guy is as, is as relevant as the next person I'm going to talk about, okay? Uh, fucking Dalton Castle, okay? If you don't know who he is, I don't blame you. He's just jobber. He's a comedy indie jobber from the indies. Uh, apparently, he, he worked one of the TNA One Night Only shows. And, uh, one second. Yeah, this fucking asshole, he worked at the TNA how, uh, show gut check or whatever and he's some fucking comedy asshole he comes out with a cape well apparently for whatever reason i don't know why but tna offered him a, a contract and he reportedly turned it down to go to ring of honor tna impact wrestling contract you don't want it what the fuck i mean i'm gonna be honest with you guys and some of you guys don't know this about me i'm actually a wrestler somewhat i have about 18 months of experience in wrestling. Um, I mean, I'm not completely, like, the, uh, crippled. I fucked up my back real bad. Like, I can't even move it. Uh, it's in fucking pain every day, man. But uh, I could suck it up. I could go a good fucking 30-minute match, you know? Um, if TNA offered me the, the thing, I would take it. You know what I mean? I mean... I would take it, man. I mean, even though it's on Friday nights, it's it's on the channel, but like it, I would take it, man. Even, be a, I'd be a wrestler for them. I'd be a, a manager, a referee, uh, a announcer. I've been told by people that I'm a good speaker. I don't think so, but I would do it, man. This fucking guy turned it down and he went to Ring of Honor. I show that hardly anybody watches, okay? The people that critique DNA, you guys watch it because what are you bitching about if you don't know what's going on? Um, I don't like the fact that it's on Friday nights. I used to watch it on Saturday mornings, but they don't have it on that time no more. Uh, so what I do is I watch it Fridays if I can, and then I go out to the clubs at 11. Because they know girls at the clubs from 9 to 11. It's all dudes in there. It, it, midnight is when the bitches show up. So yeah, that's what you do. You watch Impact on Friday night, then you go out and you party, and that's when the bitches are out. But yeah, this fucking jobber, Dalton Castle, he turned down TNA to go to Ring of Honor. So I got, I wanted to see, you know, why would TNA want to sign this fucking asshole? Maybe they want to put him in a tag team with Crazy Steve or something. He could have been in that tournament. That's going to be, that tag team tournament next week. That's going to be way better than anything Ring of Honor's done. 
So I YouTube this piece of garbage because that's how I find all my Ring of Honor names when people keep talking about them. Sorry, guys. I let one rip. I didn't want to do it on camera. I know people do do it on camera, but I got more respect for y'all. So I YouTube Dalton Castle. So, and apparently, I think this was at the Ring of Honor show where Jay Lethal fought Alberto or something. So Jay Lethal, I, I look, okay, Jay Lethal's in the ring with fucking Truth Martini and they're like having sex or something. And then this fucking asshole comes out with a bunch of uh, Lucha Dragon ripoffs like this. And then Dalton Castle's like this. He's a fucking clown in a cape. He looks like Jim Carrey had a baby with, uh, he looks like Jim Carrey and Steven Tyler had a fucking gangbang with, I don't know, fucking Sharon Osbourne and, uh, what's that fucking asshole's name? Kevin Bacon, I guess. And Disco Inferno. Yeah, all five of them have a gangbang. They made this fucking asshole. This guy's a joke. He's a jobber. He's a vanilla midget. He's got no business in TNA. He has no physique. I'm glad he went to Ring of Honor. We know this asshole signed. If WWE offered him, he would have taken it. You know, I don't know why they would try to sign him TNA. You don't need that fucking job. But fuck him. Um, the only ones that go to Ring of Honor shows is the Four Horsewomen. But anyway. Now, I was going to do a video on Dalton Castle, but nobody would probably watch it anyway. Thank God somebody else so relevant, more relevant was added to the story. Taz, okay? No doubt about it, Cole. Good night, Irene. Let the bitches in the house. Apparently, Taz uh, is in the doghouse because he refused to get his fat ass on a plane from New York to Nashville to, to shoot commentary with Josh Matthews. He was eating a fucking New York hot dog and New York pizza, and he forgot. He refused. So now they're going to fire him. He's a fucking asshole, okay? If you have a job, you show up. Who cares if they're not paying you? If they don't pay you, it's bullshit. But just keep working so that what they owe you now increases and you owe them more. Then you wait till they owe you this much. They owe you stacks. And you take them to fucking court. But this piece of shit didn't do that. He just decided to sit his fat ass at home. And fucking not show up. I understand people are ungrateful. You know, Matt Hardy showed his checks. He's got like a handful of $5,000 checks. Uh, Manic showed a $4,000 check from TNA. But I understand that some of these wrestlers in TNA are ungrateful. That's why some of them work indie shows and they get paid. Taz could have done a fucking autograph signing or something like that, and he could have been paid $1,000 or something. But he didn't do that, okay? Now, I like Taz. I'm not going to pretend like I don't like him. He does. I, I don't like the, the taped commentary, but I think they should be there. But um, he, he him and Josh are a good team. Um, He's never been my favorite, but I think he's better than anybody in WWE right now. Um, JB is a, a great commentator. If Taz ends up leaving TNA, they could have JB there, or, or Josh could do it by himself, or JB could do it by himself. Maybe bring Tanae back, even though he's done. I see all these fucking assholes online. Oh, Taz can come back to WWE. You guys didn't even give two shits about Taz when he was in TNA, okay? He's been there for like seven years, and you guys didn't even mention one thing about him. I guarantee if uh, you guys don't even, if you have the network, you don't even watch his network stuff. Um, So shut up, like seriously. Um, Taz, it, it'll be bad if you go, um, but I really don't see Taz working there another day in his life. This is something serious, like, not showing up, man, that, that's a big one. I don't think you can come back from that. I personally, I don't know why TNA would want you back if that's what you're going to do. Uh, I don't think he's wrestling anymore, but, uh, I don't think we'll see him back. I mean, apparently, I don't follow this douchebag on Twitter, but apparently he, uh, he took all the TNA stuff down, so that could be very well confirmed that Taz is departing ways with TNA. Hate to see you go, Taz, but your spot is open, and that'll probably give another chance for somebody to come in, you know. Spud, Rockstar Spud's a good commentator, you know. Al Snow did some commentary work back in the day. Maybe he can, uh, you know, get back to that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, Courtney, a.k.a. Tyler Reigns. I said her real name. I'm a smart. I knew that. Uh, fuck the haters. Uh, Dalton Castle, fuck you. And Taz, I love you, Taz, but fuck you for not showing up to work. You know what I mean? CM Punk, no shows work. He gets a pass, but whatever. I'm done with this, right? The videos I wanted to do are coming up. So stay tuned, children.